Oh, hi, are you Bethany? Yes. Hey, Bethany, I'm Dan Chen Hi, nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm sorry to bother you. Um, I'm the one who's supposed to be talking to all the folks in here about cancer. I work with a company called Family Heritage, and I tried to catch you earlier. I was with the butlers next door. You probably know Peggy and Steve. Yep. And uh, I don't know if you know the Parkers across the street here, mm -hmm. Diane and Peter. I was actually playing with them, and the, <laughs> they got that big, huge mastiff in the backyard. Yeah. Anyway, I apologize. I, I totally missed you, and uh, I was just trying to catch you for a few minutes. Um, I apologize for being in such a hurry. Do you have a place where we sit down? Sure. Awesome. Man, it has been hot. Are you guys, uh, are, you, are you originally from Texas, or? No, I'm not. Where are you from? Uh, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Portsmouth? New England town on the seacoast. Really? How long have you guys lived out here for? Uh, two years. Do you love it, or? A little bit miss the beach, but you know, you trade one thing for another. Yeah, how'd you all end up in, uh, in Austin? Uh, my family actually relocated, um, and I have younger siblings, so I decided to get rid of the winners and be part of their life and see them grow up. Oh, that's so cool. Do they, did they come out here with you? No. They've been here for six years. Six or they, seven years. Okay, so they, they were here before you got here. Mm -hmm. That's kind of how I was looking to move. Got tired of the winners. Austin seemed like a good choice. That's all. Oh, man, I gotta, I, I'm, I'm not from here originally either. So I'm a California boy and I moved out here and my wife and kids and we've got, you know, everybody in the area, but I love it. Yeah, it grows on me more and more. Yeah, my wife's not a big fan of the humidity. <laughs> it's nothing compared to New England. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay, you're, if, so you ever meet her, if you ever meet her, you have to tell her that because I need, I need a cheerleading section. Okay. So do you guys have kids too or is it? No. Just, uh, just two of you guys or? Yeah. Or is it just you or? Just me. Okay, oh, no. very cool, okay. Now, and what do you do out here if you don't mind me asking? Um, I bartended at the UT Golf Club around the corner. Oh, you're kidding me? No. Okay, we yeah we belong there actually for quite a few years. We haven't we haven't gone there for for a while. Mm -hmm. When are you're doing that now? Um, currently, yeah, I'm actually just getting ready to head to Europe for a couple of months. Oh no, where, where yeah. are you guys going? I'm going to go to Spain, France, Italy, my Switzerland, god. Germany. Figured I'd try to Oktoberfest. Got it on my bucket list. Oh my god, that's like. I'm gonna end in Holland. My take my flight home is from from Amsterdam. So I assume you've been saving for a while because it sounds like a big yeah. trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't actually currently, like, I just kind of quit my flights in a couple weeks. What do you do when you get back? Are you going to come back to the club or? Um, I put that in. They said, oh yeah, you always have a home. So we'll see if they even they seem back. They seem really cool over there. Yeah, I've been there for a couple of years, so. Bartending. I've been carting a lot, so I don't know if you golf. That's why you probably haven't seen me. I drive no, a I, cart that goes around and yeah, sells beer. Yeah, I just, I, I know I heard about one girl who had a massive, like, she apparently didn't know what she was doing, hit a rock, said something, and I thought it was you. <laughs> Was it really? Yeah. I hope they took care of you afterwards. Yes, they did. Did they? Yeah. All right. A few broken places in the face, broke my shoulder. Yeah. My gosh, okay. Solved Normally I should be talking to you about an accident plan. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably not a bad idea. <laughs> well, you know, it's been fun for me. I, I've, I've been working out here um, uh, for a while, but like I said, I've been kind of talking to people about something that's really not that fun, you know, talking about cancer. Mm -hmm. And I know it's not the most pleasant subject, but man, it seems to affect a lot of mm -hmm. folks out here in Texas. Um, and let me ask you, if you don't mind me asking, who's the closest person to you that's been affected by cancer? Your My friends, dad. your family? Are you dead? Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I ask what, what kind of cancer you went through? Uh, squamous cell. Okay. It's a long, it's like a rare lung cancer. Okay. Yeah. Did he, and again, I, I apologize for asking, but did he survive it? Is he doing okay? Or, oh, he didn't. He passed away. How long did he fight it for? Um, three months. So they found it really late. Mm -hmm. They found it in stage four. I did. Okay. Were, were you guys, were you really young at the time or was this recently? I was 13. Okay, so it happened a while back. Mm -hmm. So he was about 35 when he died. Were they able to do anything for him at the time? or? No, they gave us the chemo option. It was 99% resistant, but you know, we hoped that maybe we were the 1%. Right. But we weren't. So in the long run, it was kind of a poor decision. It just made him sicker. But so he did, he did actually take, he did go through the, the process mm -hmm. of trying to and were you the only one living at home at the time, or was it? Um, it was me. I'm his only child. Right. Um, but it was me, my stepmom, and her son. We all lived in the house. So when my, my biological parents divorced, my dad actually had custody of me. I did. Which is a very rare yeah. situation. But yeah. Okay. Well, you know, like I said, I know, I know cancer is not really fun to talk about. And uh, it's crazy the amount of people I've run into that have gone through mm -hmm. something similar to that, you know, where they had to deal with it through the family. But... You know, just to share a couple things with you. Um, a lot of people don't realize this, but did you know that actually one out of two men go through cancer? Right? One out of two men and one out of three women will go through it. Those are crazy, but the, the number that really kind of blows me away is that actually three out of four families will experience it. Mm -hmm. That either means mom, dad, or one of the kids. So think about it. If you take your family, my family, uh, two other families that you know, only one of our families won't experience it. 
that crazy? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you know, it's interesting too because you know, there are some cancers that are very hereditary. You know, prostate cancer for men or breast cancer for women or ovarian are, are very, very hereditary cancers. But did you know that over nine out of 10 cancers now, over 90% are actually environmental? Mm -mm. I just assumed hereditary because my grandfather currently has it, my dad had it, it seems to be the trait. So in the family, it's, it's a very hereditary thing for you guys, yeah. Yeah, that, that actually kind of blew my mind because a lot of people get it from, you know, the wa water they drink or the food they eat, things like that. Um, the crazy thing is, you know, if you went through cancer 30 years ago, there wasn't a lot people could do for you, right? It was really a death sentence for a lot of folks that went through it. Mm -hmm. The good news even is... 14 years ago. Right. Yeah, with your dad going through it. Uh, if there's any good news that's come mm -hmm. along with cancer, it's that now most people that go through it, actually, believe it or not, 6 out of 10 people that go through it will now survive it. But, you know, as you know, cancer isn't survived in days, right? Mm -hmm. It can take weeks or months or... Yes. Right? So... Here's the, here's the deal, and if you understand what I'm going to show you here, Bethany, you'll completely understand what it is that we do, okay? When it comes to anything catastrophic like cancer, or heart attack, accidents, things like that, there's really two kinds of costs, okay? And the first one is what everybody thinks about, right? If you're looking at this little pyramid, mm -hmm. about a third of that cost is what they call direct. That's the stuff everybody thinks about, right? The doctor's bills, hospital bills, medical expenses. Mm -hmm. Most people that I talk to, you've got great medical insurance, you know, especially with Obamacare. You know, they have to get something, right? You know, whether it's Blue Shield of Cross, United, Aetna. Like, who do you, who do you have? Blue right? Cross, Blue Shield. Oh, you do? Okay. Oh, that's great. That's who my family has. You can't beat them, right? Yeah. Okay. They're awesome when it comes to all this stuff. Um, what we do, though, has absolutely nothing to do with that, though, mm -hmm. so that you, you understand. We have nothing to do with that at all. What we deal with is the other two-thirds of cost that people go through when they co go through something catastrophic, okay, what we call indirect, and that's, that's the bigger part of the pyramid, right? So like, for example, let me ask you, here's a softball question. If you couldn't work for six months to a year because of something like cancer, okay, how would that affect you financially besides the stuff that medical insurance pays for? Like, what do you use your, your salary for? Everything, student loans, bills, car insurance, life. rent, life. my life. <laughs> right? That's probably the biggest stuff, right? I mean, it all starts with the living expenses, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you've still got to put food on the table, put gas in the car, you know, be able to pay those student loans. You know, Uncle Sam doesn't care if you have cancer, right? Yeah. Okay. You know, you have insurance limitations too. I mean, you and I both have great insurance, but, you know, for example, I know for my family, we have a 2080 plan. It means that 20% of the bill is still due by us. You know, the insurance company only pays yeah. 80%. And there's a lot of things they don't even cover, right? If the average cost of cancer is 300000 a year, 20% of that is like 60 grand a year. Yeah. Do you have that sitting around? Sure don't. No. If you did. I've been in debt. Yeah. I was gonna say, if you had it, it'd probably be better to spend it on a European vacation, not on cancer, right? Yeah. yeah. There's also out-of-pocket expenses. You know, you still, you know, if you want to go to a good hospital that's maybe not in Texas or you know things like that. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting. I mean, uh, you know, I, I work with a lot of folks, and some of them are, you know, very, very high in income, and some of them are, are literally on fixed income and everywhere in the middle. But if you look at people's income and then you look at their expenses, most people are kind of like, right? They kind of spend up to what they make. Mm -hmm. Not everybody, but that's how most of us are, right? But let me ask you this. If you were to go through something like cancer, you know, or something major like that, what usually happens to your income? It goes down. Right? But no matter what happens, what always happens to your expenses? They're, they keep going. Right. They don't stop. When do you think people think about this gap? When they actually have to think about their expenses. When they go through it, right? Or when I'm sitting here with them, yeah. right? With your hands. Yeah, exactly, right? That's, that's usually when you find people are going through things like their savings, right? Mm -hmm. uh, eating up their investments or their retirement funds or even college funds for their kids. Or unfortunately, I've seen a lot of this too where they've had to sell assets. Right, selling homes, cars, um, property. And we can, family had to do. So you guys understand it, right? Mm -hmm. we, can, we can agree that none of this is good, right? Well, that's why what Family Heritage has done is they've created what they, what they call the Plus Series, right? The Series 6 uh, Plus Series, and this is the cancer program. There are three things that are really unique about it. Okay, the first one is that we pay all benefits directly to you. Okay, Blue, Blue Shield, Blue Cross are awesome, right? Like I said, I've got them. Mm -hmm. But they're really there to kind of pay the doctor bills and the hospital bills, right? They don't send you a lot of checks in the mail, do they? No, they just ask for them. They just ask for them, right? So, you know, they're there to really kind of, you know, Blue Shield pays the doctors to kind of keep their lights on. Mm -hmm. Everything that we pay, we pay to you, literally to keep your lights on. Okay. okay, the second thing is we pay in addition to any other insurance you have. So even if you've got the greatest insurance in the world and they covered every dollar of every bill, which no insurance does, we're still going to pay you exactly what I'm going to show you in this thing. Okay. But the last thing is we cover the whole family. So, you know, right now it's just you. But in the future, if you want to get married or have kids or anything else, this same program I'm showing you can expand to cover you, 
a husband, you know, kids, no matter what, we can, we can actually expand it. So here's what I'm going to do. The, the great thing that's, uh, that, that I can tell you about this program is that um, there's a few things that are unique. I mean, number one, it's a really simple plan to uh, explain and understand. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's super affordable. Okay, we're not talking about anything that's going to kill you, I promise. And it's a really easy decision. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to give you a quick look at uh, a little bit of the benefits, how they work. If you like it, if you think it'll be good, great. It's like buying Girl Scout cookies. It's a really simple little one-page thing if you like it. If you don't like it, or frankly, Bethany, if you're on the fence, you're kind of like, wow, it looks good, but I'm not sure, just tell me no. I promise I'm not gonna, <laughs> you're not going to hurt my feelings. Okay. The only favor I ask is that the, the one thing that the state requires is that when I see somebody, if they like it, you don't have to go step on a scale, see a doctor or anything. They just require that I'm here. So just after I show it to you, can you just say, hey, yeah, it looks good, sign me up, or you know what, I'm going to pass. Is that okay. cool? Yeah. Okay, cool. So here's how the plan works. All of our plans have actually four levels. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's an elite level, there's a preferred, there's even two other levels that are lower. And the reason is so that it can fit into anybody's budget. Right, they all cover the exact same stuff. Okay, you can just see that from the elite to the, this plan, it pays out half as much. The other plan ha pays half as much, so it really depends on what fits best for you. But I'm gonna show you the elite, because that's what everybody gets. Okay. okay. So the way it works is if you were to go through any kind of cancer, okay, anything internal, the first thing we do is called a first occurrence benefit. We pay uh, $6,000 just on the diagnosis of cancer. Okay, we even give you 1,200 bucks if it's skin cancer. But think about that. No matter what stage you're in or anything, we give you 6,000 immediately. Why do you think we give you so much cash just on the diagnosis of cancer? Because it's kind of that initial shock of, oh my God, how are we gonna pay for this? Right, I mean, if you found out you had cancer tomorrow, would life change a little bit? Just, just, a, tiny. just a tiny bit, right? You know. For a lot of po folks, um, the finances is the second biggest stress behind the actual disease. Mm -hmm. So this gives you uh, some money so you can take time off of work or see a specialist or pay some deductibles, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and that money gets sent directly to you, put it in your account so you have access to it immediately. You don't have to wait for something to come in the mail, right? Mm -hmm. But the big thing is, let's say it was, if it was more serious and let's say something put you in the hospital, even if your Blue Cross Blue Shield paid every dollar, Bethany, everything, let's say they just said, forget about the co-pays and everything, we're gonna pay the whole deal. We're still going to pay you $800 a day, every day you're in there, with what does that say? No lifetime limits. So let me, let me ask you this. Is $800 a day more than you make at work anyway? Yeah. Okay, that's just, one, that's just one benefit, right? Yeah. So think about it. If you went in the hospital for 10 days, even if your Blue Cross paid every dollar, we're going to give you 8000 bucks. If you're in there for 1,000 days, we're going to pay you $800,000. This is unlimited. Isn't that crazy? Mm-hmm. I'm not going to go through every benefit. I just want you to understand how it works. Okay, if you go through something like cancer, it's like flipping on a light switch. We're going to pay you if it's cancer related, right? Like, for example, if it's ambulance or towards every surgery and anesthesia, second opinions. I mean, you can see on most of these, you keep seeing no lifetime limit, right? Things like bone marrow. A really big one to me is the chemo and radiation. Obviously, your dad went through this, right? Mm -hmm. We, believe it or not, pay $480 a day every day that you go in the hospital. Right? Even if you never step foot in the hospital, even if you just go to the doctor's office for a chemo or radiation treatment, we're going to pay you that 480 per day. Mm -hmm. Okay? Again, no lifetime limits. Isn't that crazy? Okay, I have a client of mine down in, in Alice, Texas, finishes 52nd chemo treatment. Do the math. It's over $20,000 mm -hmm. just on this one benefit alone. Okay? Um, mm -hmm. There's other benefits too. I mean, believe it or not, even if you never get um, any kind of cancer, we pay you if you just go get your annuals every year. Okay? Most guys are pretty bad about it, but most women are good about getting their mam or their pap, mm -hmm. you know? We'll actually pay you $240 per person per year, up to this amount, depending on what it is you get done. Okay, if you just go and get your normal checkups. Isn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. And there's a ton of other benefits, too. I mean, I'm not going to go through everything. You know, we got lots of stuff in here. Although, actually, I do want to show you a little bit about this. We have a, a, a rider that you can add to the plan. If you, um, for example, if you go into intensive care for anything, right? And this is kind of a catch-all if you have something major happen. You go into intensive care for any reason. See those three words? Mm -hmm. We're going to pay you $1,600 per day up to $48,000 per incident. Okay, and if it's vehicular, car crash, truck crash, plane crash, right? We're going to pay double, $3,200 a day. Okay, and there's other benefits too. I mean, I can go through a ton of this stuff, but just out of curiosity, from what I've shown you so far, I, I mean, look pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just. I wish this half my family had this when we went through it. It can make a big difference, couldn't it? Yeah. I'm just more curious, what do you like most about it? The fact that the money comes to you and you can make your own decisions on how to spend it, or the fact that it has so many benefits with no limits? Um, I think that the money comes to you and you can decide how to spend it. 
yeah, that's, yeah, for most people that have gone through this, they, they understand how much of a difference that can make. Well, I'm sure you're wondering what it costs, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it can't be cheap, okay? Um, I think one of the reasons that people really love what it is that we have is because they assume that a program like this is gonna cost similar to what healthcare costs, mm -hmm. right? Blue Cross Blue Shield for, you know, single, you're young, you're healthy. Um, I imagine, give or take, it's around four or 500 bucks a month. Probably not too bad. Yeah, okay. I mean, I, right now I have a temporary. A little bit less? Okay. But if you were to buy it privately or yeah. whatever, that's, that's, about, that's a fair number, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I know for me and my wife and kids, we pay over $1,000 a month, right? And that doesn't include the fact that we have deductible and stuff. A lot of folks feel like a plan like this is going to cost close to what their health care costs. In your case, maybe four or 500 bucks because, well, number one, your Blue Cruise Shield isn't going to pay you a check, right? We talked mm -hmm. about that. They're going to pay it to the doctors. Everything we pay is going to get paid directly to you. The other reason a lot of people assume that this is going to be around four or $500 is because um, you're going to have to pay with Blue Shield some kind of de deductible, co-pays, and then they usually only take care of a percentage. We're going to pay you on the first dollar, and like I said, the unlimited stuff, we're going to pay you 100% of everything that I showed you, okay, in most cases for unlimited time. Mm -hmm. But the third reason that people assume a plan like this is going to be around four or 500 bucks is because, well, if I were to go to HEB and somebody to hit my car with a shopping cart, I'm probably not going to call Geico and file a claim because what are they going to do to my rates? Yeah, they're going to raise it. They're going to jack them up, right? Pop it out yourself. Believe it or not, I can file as many claims on this plan as I want. I can get as old as I'm going to get, and I can't uh, raise the rates on you even one dollar on this because of age or because of claims. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. But instead of this being around that four or five hundred dollar range, and let me ask you really quick because I I know it's just you and the family, but um, you're under thirty, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Um, instead of it being in that four or five hundred dollar range for this plan. For you to get this plan at the highest level, the elite top, mm -hmm. top level, okay, including the, uh, oh, I don't have the ICU on there. Oh, yeah, I do. Including the ICU, instead of it being at that, um, that four or $500 range, you get this entire plan for under $100. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. And that includes the intensive care at the highest level. But there's one other thing that you don't know. What people love most about this is, believe it or not, and now you're gonna think I'm gonna be throwing you a line. Our programs make sense even if you never file a claim. You know why? Because we refund your premiums, everything you spend in this plan, minus any claims that are paid after 25 years or at age 65, uh, whatever comes first. So think about this. Um, let's say that you know, 25 years from now, you're gonna be some, somewhere in your 50s, right? Late 50s? I'll be, yeah. Okay. So let's just say uh, over that time, this is a made up number, but let's say that you've spent $20,000 in, in premiums, right? Mm -hmm. And what you hope happens, happens, right? It, nothing, right? You're healthy, maybe you've gotten married at that point, had kids, everybody's healthy, that's what you want, right? Mm -hmm. Insurance is weird. It's that one thing that we buy we hope we never use, right? Um, but every single dollar you put in, you're gonna get back after that 25 years, and you'll still be paying the same thing as you did when you were in your 20s. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. Now people always think that there's a catch, okay? And there's no catch. Because let's say that you did file some claims, let's say something small happened, uh, skin cancer or something happened, right? Let's say that we paid you 5,000 bucks. You're gonna get that 5,000, Bethany, when you needed it most, mm -hmm. when you were going through that thing. But the other 15,000, you're still going to get back. We can't raise your rates, we can't drop you for any reason. And you'll still be paying what you did in your 20s. Isn't that crazy? So dollar for dollar, you're guaranteed to get every dollar back. Mm -hmm. Now let's say something major happened. I'll give you an example. We actually have had some clients, we just had a client of ours who was just recently on Oprah um, because of uh, Sarah Hodges, it was a heart-related issue. And we've paid her now uh, almost $400,000. Okay, but we've had other clients here. You can see um, some of our clients here. Uh, actually, one of our policyholders here, here in Texas, I believe we had paid um, $30,000 or $40,000 on. Uh, you can see here we paid over $16,000 on, on, uh, on this client here with the elite coverage. This was over $64,000 uh, that we paid out. Now, if we paid you $64,000, but you'd only put in $20,000, you're not going to get anything back because we paid you more than you paid us. Mm -hmm but you also don't owe us any money. And your protection continues, it won't go up even a dollar. Hmm. Now what do you like most? The fact, that, the fact that you can spend the money how you want or the fact that it's a savings plan and you get every dollar back if you don't use it? It's a savings plan. It, it's great, isn't it? Well, and, and I'll tell you, I think the, that's actually, I think what the Johnsons liked most about when Mary had picked this up for her and Dennis and the kids, she said that she really liked the fact that she felt like she wasn't even paying a bill, that this was just like a, so, uh, in order to see, I, first I just need to see if you qualify. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me just ask you a couple questions. 
uh, number one, has any kind of medical professional ever diagnosed you with any kind of cancer personally? Nope. Okay. And obviously, um, no issues with any kind of PSA because you don't have one. Nope. Uh, in the last 90 days, have you been advised by any kind of medical professional to have a biopsy for cancer that hasn't been done yet? Mm -mm. Okay. And no heart issues of any kind at all? None? Okay, cool. And uh, no AIDS, ARC, HIV, nothing like that, right? Just Band-Aids and Kool-Aids in the house? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, that's great. So you qualify. Um, so in order to kind of get this started, I just need to get some basic information. Now, uh, do you guys get your mail here or do you get it at the post office? Here. Here, okay. And what's the uh, house number? Uh, 8600. So, um, okay. I'm not really sure, especially with all my student loans, if I can add it to my list, my budget. Okay. Okay, what's kind of holding you back? The debt hanging over my head. The debt hanging over your head? Okay, so it's a little bit tight for you right now? A little bit. Okay. Well, let me do this for you, because like I said, we've got different levels of plans, mm -hmm. right? Um, and one of the things I'll tell you that a lot of folks like about this is that you can actually get in at kind of whatever fits you most comfortably. Mm -hmm. Although I do think, especially with your history and everything else, that obviously, God forbid if something does come up, obviously at that point you can't increase the plan. Mm -hmm. So I always tell people to get what's really comfortable for them and whatever they can, whatever fits them best. Mm -hmm. So let me do this. Let me, let me show you one other section in the program. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm going to take you through it and give you a quick look at how that works. And then after I show you that, at that point, again, you know, let me know what section or what, what level of coverage works best for you. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just go with that. It's not a big deal. Whatever kind of suits you best, okay? So one of the things I'll ask is, you know, uh, and this is actually something I think is amazing with this program, you know, where you get treated for cancer is probably the most important thing, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we're so lucky because we live out here in Austin. You know, you got, you know, uh, St. David's. You know, you've got some great uh, locations that are near here. I, not, not far away is MD Anderson, right, mm -hmm. out in Houston. So you've got MD Anderson. Um, but you know there's some specialty hospitals all around the country, right? Mm -hmm. You know, for example, Sloan Kettering, one of the best in, uh, in the country for prostate cancer. Or the Hutchinson Center up here in Seattle for mm -hmm. brain cancer. Uh, I've got kids. And, of course, you've heard of St. Jude's mm -hmm. yeah, in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. uh, you ever heard of the Mayo Clinic out in Minnesota? Mm -hmm. Okay, famous for women, especially it's, it's not just the best in the country for breast cancer, it's the best in the world. But what's the problem with all these places? Expensive. Expensive, why? Because they're the best. And they're not here, are they? They're not here yet. <laughs> Believe it or not, and by the way, this isn't an add-on to, this is actually part of your program I didn't even show you. Believe it or not, Bethany, we actually will pay for you to get anywhere you want. We have a patient transportation benefit that has, again, what are those three words? No lifetime limits. Right. So let's say that you want to go to the Mayo Clinic out in, in uh, Minneapolis. And they, you know, we're going to actually pay $2,500 for you to fly out there, but not just once, as many times as you need to. Mm -hmm. So let's say you went out there and they said, hey, Bethany, we need you to come back here uh, every six weeks for the next three years. We're going to pay that $2,500 again and again and again and again and again and again and again. If you want to go out to MD Anderson or anything more than 80 miles away, we're going to pay 60 cents a mile unlimited. Mm -hmm. That's the equivalent of $18 a gallon. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Now, by the way, would you want to go by yourself? No. No. Okay, so we pay for a family member to go. You can bring mom, dad, brother, sister, husband, wife, son, or daughter with you. We'll pay the exact same benefit. Again, no lifetime limits. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. Okay. And by the way, uh, once you go somewhere, you've got to get a place to stay, right? You can't, you can't stay in a... Not a good time to couch surf, right? Right. Believe it or not, this plan will also pay $200 per day for a family member lodging benefit. So you can get a hotel nearby the hospital. I absolutely love this. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. Okay. We call this a peace of mind benefit because it gives people the peace of mind to get the kind of care they want, not just what's affordable. Right? So, I mean, could you see how this would have made a huge difference, you know, with what your dad went through mm -hmm. or if you were to go through something? Can you see how this would make a big difference uh, to kind of have as a safety net for you if something happened? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So, you know, like I said, to get you started, it's just very simple information. Um, and I've got the basics here, but... Uh, I know you're saying that uh, last name is spelled C-O-N-D-R-A? Yep. Okay. And um, you're 26 now? And what's your birthday? 